This Business Central inventory video looks at item charges. Item charges can be set up to record things like freight or customs duty that you might want to record against the initial cost of your item. It gives you the ability to spread the cost that you might receive on an invoice against all of the inventory items that are on it, meaning that your inventory valuation is increased for those products. Let's have a look at how it works. We have a look at this setup. In the setup area, all you're doing is allocating what different types of item charges you want to record, and you assign the different posting groups so that you get the correct GST and uh, correct GL posting that you want. Once you've got that defined, then there are two ways of dealing with them on transactions. So let's look at the first. Let's create a purchase invoice. Just do a new one. Right. Vendor. So in this example, we are going to have the freight charge on the same invoice as an item. Okay, so we've ordered these phones. Okay, 100. Let's have 10 of them. And then as part of that, we've then also received a freight charge. So select the charge item. And the value of that charge, one at $25. What we're going to do is then allocate this item charge across the items on the invoice. So here's our items here. And we just want to assign the one. Close. And post. Let that post through. Let's have a look at the item ledger entries and drill into the cost of our last receipt and we can see that the total cost is $775 which was the $750 for the 10 units and the $25 for freight. So at an inventory level it's incorporated the entire cost. Now the other way you might receive item charges is as an invoice on its own where you might import goods and you might get, uh, for example, a, a shipping invoice at a later stage. So um, this one we're going to bring in from American Charge. Okay, And in this case, we're just putting the item charges in. So I pick up my freight cost, and I'm just I'm still going to use a quantity of one, and let's go $1,500, because usually that would be a lot, a lot larger. We're going to do the same thing again to come over into the item charge assignment, but this time it's not showing any lines because we don't have any items on the invoice. So what we can do is we can... Under Manage, no, Item Charge, Get Receipt Lines. So now you can see all of the receipts that have ever been uh, put into the system and we can pick up the invoices that we want it to go against. So let's pick it up against this one. I'm just going to do it quite varied, holding control. We can click multiple lines and hit OK. Right, so this gives us the um, split out of different parts of it. Now what we've got to do now is assign this across the lines and you've got some different options. You could manually go down and assign this or you could come back into this item charge area and suggest the item charge assignment. So you can split it equally by the amount, so I'll just look at the dollar value of each of the lines, by weight and by volume. So you've got the ability to track weights and volumes against all of your inventory items and so you can spread it by that, which is quite common for importing goods. So I'm just going to go by amount and let it split out and so it's automatically decimalised my quantities and it's giving the values of what is in there. Okay, so let's have a look at one of these items. We want receipt 12, that 128 SD RAM and we're going to have a look at that in the item ledger entries. So let's close that and post. No. 
Go back to our item ledger entries. And we can do a search for 128 and receipt 12. That's the one there. Go into our cost amount. So we can see we've got direct costs up the top here of 1875. And then we've also got some freight costs, obviously uh, being allocated more than once to freight to this particular invoice. But that just keeps adding on. So that's how you set up the item charges in the system and use them to allocate your inventory costs against all of your items as appropriate. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe and keep an eye out for more videos in the future.